you. Don't bug me. Try and angle this so you can't see all the debris around me. Oh, I'll show you a bit. It's just what happens. You lot, you lot are crafty. You know how it goes. <sighs> okay, I got a bit of hot in my turtleneck. So I've taken that off. Go away. Right, quick cuddle and then you can clear off. Flip you over. There we go. Pig carcass. <laughs> One of you smells. Might be me. Go on then. Off you go. Go on then. Toby, can you call Bunny? door but if I do that Margot will just end up crying at the door right I'm not very organized I've escaped I've I've I said to everyone um I've nothing to vlog about today and I I've just cobbled one together for yesterday so I need to go and chat about my knitting and when I say need it's not for you guys it's for me I just want to talk about knitting <laughs> and you lot are my knitting friends so first off oh, I mean I'm, I am in a bit of a muddle because you see when I went to my cousins I basically I traveled very light I took a dressing gown a pair of pajamas toothbrush makeup and my knitting basket plus party things you know food and drink so my knitting basket is still in a bit of a muddle because it was my overnight bag as well. I'm knitting this. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's um, just stroking my breast. It's Tiger's Eye by Lay Family Yarn. And I dyed this up with Nick when I was there at the end of November. Um, yeah, I had all the fun of being able to dye up five skeins of it myself. Now, this is a new base. Bunny's back. This is a new base. I don't remember the information about it. I know it is, it's DK and it's 8020, it's Merino, but there's something to do with the length of the Merino. You're going to end up all tangled and you had a problem earlier on didn't you and then I got the wool tangled around my big toe it was a mess um it's something to do with the I don't know the way it's twisted or something look I didn't do that very well did I it's very pale there but it'll be fine when I marl it together This is why we leave it to the professionals, guys. <laughs> I tell you what, I'd love to do a little bit of fun yarn dyeing, but by the time I've cleared my kitchen, got out all the specific pots and pans and done the dyeing, and then cleared everything away, I get more of a dopamine hit just heading off to the internet and purchasing it. <laughs> I am going to do natural dyeing though, but that's different. That's kind of a different bag. That's not, we're not talking chemicals then, are we? So that's a bit safer in the kitchen. Right, so this jumper is the Trescal. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I think it is, I think it's a Cornish name. And I think that the designer, Anna Devu, along avec Anna, she's just opened a shop up in Exeter. So perhaps it's Devon, not Cornish. Devonian. I was born in Devon. And I've lived in Cornwall for two years. I'm a proper West West Country bird. Yeah, this is the Trescal sweater. It's a free pattern on Ravelry or possibly on 
along Avec Anna's website. I don't know, I'll link it below, but just be warned, it's linked to Ravelry. I, I don't have a problem with Ravelry, um, with my eyes or anything. Um, and, and honestly, I, I'm not on there enough to even find out if it does bother me, if it does cause visual disturbances. I think that's what the issue was. Because I um, I don't really use it. I just use it when I, when somebody chats about a pattern. So I copied Bex from Bex Creates Podcast with this. Um, so I just clicked on the click clicked on the Google and there it was and then I just downloaded it and that was it that was some total of my interaction with Ravelry because I also I sh what I don't like about Ravelry is when you're trying to see all the pictures when you're doing it on your phone it just seems to take forever to go through it's very clunky so I, I tend to look at pictures of finished items on Instagram, on the Instagram hashtag. That's my preference. So this is doing all right. I'm, I've got another eight centimetres to go on the body before I think I need to do short rows to lengthen the back. But I am going to be trying it on because just having cut the bottom of my tree light sweater off because I didn't like the short rows, I'm not sure I want it long at the back but it looks so good on so many of the girls who I've seen who have knitted this but then they're all little tiny elf-like sylph-like creatures with waists and I don't have a waist at the moment. Got a cup of tea. I'm really thirsty today it's because I had Aperol spritz last night. They're very nice, after all spritzes. Okay. I'll show you my striped sweater. My mate Barbara, hello Barbara, sent me really lovely, three lovely balls of yarn from Ainsworth and Prin. I'm just bending over. Ooh. So she sent, I think that's one of them. Right, she sent these three. Well, they look like a little face, don't they? Hello. That was stupid. Um, yeah, she sent me these three. I wasn't sure if there'd be enough for a striped sweater. I think there would have been, but I added this to it. Actually, maybe not because I want to lengthen the body and I want to, I've got the other sleeve to do. Anyway, this goes really well. I'd had that for ages. Here's how far I've got with this. I had a bit of a problem to begin with because I was knitting and I thought to myself, left lifted increase, I know how to do that. And I just did it. And then my stitch number, my stitch count was out. And I was on a, I might've told you this before, I was on a Zoom, a couple of knitting gurus were on there and they set me straight. They said, no, it's, it's not the pattern gainer. Obviously it wouldn't be, it's you. You've not read your instructions properly. So then when I learned how to do the left lifted increase, I got my stitch count correct and I learned a new skill. I also learned a new skill on how to do a jogless stripe. I mean, you can see, but it's partly that's because my ends need weaving. There, look, lots of ends to weave in. I really enjoy weaving in ends. I used to think that I hated it and then I realised that I'd just been influenced by other people who don't like it. And I thought to myself, why am I saying oh, I hate weaving it in when actually I don't hate it, I quite like it. Shush, it's not your tea time yet. You've been for a nice walk. No, no, you stay there. You stay there. Oh, I look tired, don't I? So I've got this far, the body is currently too short, but it's super wash and I think it's, she's pulsing now. What you doing? Bunny. She's doing it to aggravate me. She's not dark. She's skulking off now, that's good. Yeah, it's super wash, so I've got a feeling it's going to stretch a bit. 
so I'm going to block it try it on and then decide on the length and it might turn out that it's absolutely fine but if not I'll add another probably repeat that so brown and cream because I don't really want to go brown and then straight into the brown of the rib and also for some reason I've done a one by one rib there oh I've, I'm further on than I realized I forgot I finished that sleeve I'm the home straight look at that that's all I've got left to knit if indeed the length is fine so I did the the two by two rib which was I think in the pattern and I really like how it's turned out um for some reason I just did a one by one and it's evs messy on the bottom so even if it is the right length I will be ripping out that um rib and actually Karen photo 3p last year I think it was last year might even have been the year before isn't it terrible that I can't remember when I got something but she knitted me some little wrist warmers out of Let Lopey and I love them in fact I got ever so upset the other day because I couldn't find them anywhere and I went through all my pockets of my my dog walking coats and my handbag and I went up to my car and I found them I was so relieved I was like I could feel my chin shaking a bit because I was so sad that I couldn't find them anyway um the cuff is a two by one rib and I really like how it looks and I think it would just lay really nicely on this so I shall do that and I won't give any more information out right now because when when this is finished I'll do a, um I've started to try and do vlogs or podcasts where um something gets its moment in the spotlight and so the title says what it's called because then in the future when I'm wearing something and people say oh what are you um what are you wearing I can click I can find easily my um vlog podcast about it and share the link bark at nothing those dogs they bark at nothing right a little while back i bought a load of this plotu lopi stuff Ooh. i love how it smells it smells of shampooed sheep yeah i really like it oh yeah i got it from no frills knit it knit knitting shop yarn shop which is a new shop in Bristol in Bedminster so it's not that far from me it's about 20 minutes away and uh, I'm knitting this which is the Wild Posy by B Mandarin Melody it's it's looking like a screwed up rash rag but it's delicious however that was Bristolian weren't it made a mistake here don't care not ripping it out stitch count is absolutely fine everything is completely fine um i really like how it's looking i've put it to one side because i just find it really hard on my hands i don't love what's happened there i don't love knitting it it's so hard on my hands i look like i've Done something a bit funny there, look. Got a, almost like a float, but it looks fine on the other side, so it can just stay like that. So that's on my needle. So that's three jumpers on my needles, and two of them are literally just stocking stitch round, round, round. And I think that I'm not far off getting to the same point with with them. Oh, this yarn, it is a bugger. I've just uh, pulled this up and it's separated out from its from its ball because look it's not a problem when you're knitting it 
I don't find. I don't find it breaks at all. I do keep looking at it and thinking, that's pre-drafted. I could spin that. That would be a really easy spin. And it's so inexpensive. This stuff is so inexpensive. But that it wouldn't be as light and fluffy and as airy as it is. So that's my knitting. I'm just going to do a time check. So I've got to turn my phone off a second. I've got to go in a tick because I'm cooking a roast dinner and um, I need to, you know, it's like timings. So very, very quickly, I'm going to show you what I got, my purchases that I got from Lay Family Yarn Retreat. I've already showed you my tiger's eye. So next is, just tip it out so it's not too noisy. Oh my goodness, I'd forgotten about that. Oh, oh horrible noise, I'm sorry about that. Chartreuse, yak sock. I oh, would really like a jumper in that. How many jumpers can one person have? but I don't want it to be socks, it's too nice. Maybe I'll make a hat. I love this green. The light's not great because it's three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I wonder if I could, let's see if I can influence the thumbnail. Look at this one, pumpkin patch. And then, oh, forest floor, forest floor. These are all 80 20 sock yarns. I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more. And I know I am literally, well, I decided after this that I am at capacity. In fact, everywhere, my whole home, my whole house, I am at capacity. I've said to everybody, um, don't buy me any Christmas presents this year because I'm at capacity. And I know that a couple of my friends have been like, I'm not happy about that, but they've understood. I know my mum's not pleased. She loves to buy a gift, bless her. Um, but I've just said, oh, I just can't take anything more in. Everywhere's bursting at the seams. It's because I don't follow fashion and I don't follow housing fashion. So... And I like a lot of stuff, so things come in and they don't often find their way back out again. So in around at capacity. Let's see if I can influence the um, thumbnail. Look at that. I'm very easily distracted. That is tiger's eye. But on the yak sock base, look at the difference in the colour. I love that. Right, thumbnail. <laughs> Margot's making noises now. Well, that that one's gone a bit messy looking. Cheers. Do you reckon we got it? Did we get the thumbnail? Well, you'll soon know if you're watching this. You'll have seen the thumbnail. Yeah, so what's that? I've forgotten already. Forest floor, and then I got this, which is Jeff. It's called Jeff, and it's coming unraveled. Did I show you all this before? I don't think I've shown you any of this. I showed you all the stuff that we dyed up, didn't I? No, that's Jeff. It's such a pretty colour, but then again, he is a very pretty poodle. Jeff, if you don't know, is Lay Family Yarn Family Dog. He's a poodle. He's a miniature poodle. Same colour as Margot. Um, Margot is a toy poodle, but Margot is very small for a toy poodle. Which is why the breeder was getting rid of her when she was a grown-up and already terribly badly behaved. And poodles are stubborn. You can't really... They're as clever as anything, so they can outwit you. You never get... To, you can never train not once they're ruined, they're ruined for life. Deal with that, don't 
Right, I've run out of time, but there was one more thing I wanted to chat about, but I'm gonna have to do that another time. What's that? Oh, oh yeah, put, hide them up there, I'll get them wrapped. Yeah, put them in there. Ooh. They're not for you. <laughs> so rude. I wish you could see what he just did. Right. Um, Kelly sent me home. I did tell you all this. Oh. I'm really trying to make up my mind because I feel like I keep teasing everybody, but I haven't got time to show you this now. Okay, I've run out of time now to talk about anything else, so I shall save the last thing, or the last two things, till tomorrow. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to go and um, make some Yorkshire puddings. Um, they did a weird thing the other day. The ones at the back, they grew, grew so fast and their heads went so mushroomy that their heads fell off and fell down the back of the oven and then the rest of it came back up again. They were massive. It was weird. Anyway, uh, thanks ever so and I will see you tomorrow for um, my usual vlogmas stuff. Probably be wearing the same clothes tomorrow because it's clean the house day and I like to muck my stuff out. Right, toodaloo. Say goodbye, Margot. Getting groomed on Wednesday, haven't you? Mm, you'll smell nice, and then the following week you're getting your teeth done. Yeah! Getting them whitened, aren't you? Just kidding. Just having them scaled and polished. Yeah.